Every segment of your business is measured for efficiency and profitability. And in the on-premises laundry industry, utilities and labor costs are usually the largest expenses. At Maytag Commercial Laundry, we understand. We're going to show you how using washers with higher G-forces translates into significant energy and labor savings. As you know, it's crucial to the bottom line of your business that maximizing productivity is vital to keeping costs down. Especially when considering the largest operating cost is labor, typically accounting for half of all expenses. Also, keep in mind that drying time can be the biggest bottleneck in an OPL operation, as dryers tend to take longer to dry a load than washers take to wash it. Let's create an example where a hotel handles 880 pounds of laundry per day, five days a week. Running operations with two 55-pound washer extractors and two 75-pound dryers, each washer will handle 440 pounds of laundry a day, eight loads per washer. And let's not forget the two employees making, on average, $12 per hour. Now, let's make a chart to compare washers with increasing amounts of G-forces. In addition to the data we just mentioned, we'll look at how much water is left after a wash, how much natural gas it takes to dry the load, and drying and total load times. If the hotel's washers spin out at 100 Gs, 98% of the original dry weight in water is retained at the end of the spin cycle, which means nearly 54 pounds of water still need to be dried. Using our Maytag MDG75 dryer as a baseline, the dry cycle will take 54 minutes, making the total shift time 7 hours and 42 minutes for all eight loads. Adding labor and gas utility costs together, your annual operating expense comes out to $45,100. Now, what happens if you use a washer with 200 Gs of force? At this higher extraction force, the same load will now retain about 40 pounds of water, which means the dryers will use less natural gas and will need less time to dry each load. As a result, the total shift time is reduced to six hours, and your total annual cost comes in at about $35,219 with a savings of almost $9,900 compared to the 100G washer. Last, let's look at 400Gs of force. Using the same load, the washer will only retain about 35 pounds of water, almost 20 pounds less than the 100G washer. Natural gas consumption has now been reduced to roughly 94 cubic feet per load, and the dry cycle time is reduced to just 36 minutes. That means the total shift time for this scenario is now 5 hours and 18 minutes, almost two hours less than the 100G washer. Crunching the numbers, you save nearly $14,000 in labor and gas costs over the course of the year when you use the 400G washer versus the 100G washer. Granted, washers with higher extraction forces will cost more to purchase, but considering your operation expects to run the washers 15 years or more, your total operational savings should quickly cover the difference. Keep in mind, the lower-priced washers that spin out at 100Gs don't have the option to increase force to optimize operational costs, but many 200 and 400G washers do have the option to reduce force for special loads. So, the next time you're considering or discussing multi-load commercial equipment, remember, more G-force means less water at the end of the spin cycle. Less water means less dry time. Less dry time means lower utility costs and lower labor costs, which all adds up to greater savings. Now that's what we call boosting the bottom line.